Hello, I'm your host, Robert Semro, here with another Moment with an Insider, and we are with a very dear friend of mine, someone I truly respect, someone who's doing so many great things in the pet world. I want to welcome to the show, Laura Nativo. Laura, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me today, and thank you for having Preston back. Oh, so great to Preston, see you, again. you are so, thank you, yes, you're a love. Are you excited to be here? What do you have to say? <laughs> I love Robert. It's now, today. I've got to ask you, you do so many different things, dog trainer, canine wellness, pet lifestyle expert, you're on the Marie Osmond Show. How are you finding time for all this? <laughs> I don't get a whole lot of sleep. I love what I do and I think when you wake up every morning and you absolutely are excited about all of the different opportunities, I mean, I'll have a day where I'll be on TV during the day and then I'll go home and I'll pick up a dog from a rescue group and bring back a new dog to foster and then go to a charity event that same night. I mean, I, I'm so excited by all of these different ways that I get to work with dogs. So I don't mind. It's just bags under the eyes. <laughs> you have to find a really good eye cream because a, a really good eye you cream. get exhausted, but I, I love it. I'm so We will have to talk off camera and uh, exchange <laughs> notes there. Now, you've also, you know, this year has just seen so many different things, some highs, some lows. Our viewers asked me to ask you the question, how are you doing health wise? Thank you guys. Thank you anyone who is thinking about me. Um, as anybody who has followed me on social media knows, I had a breast cancer scare. Um, I'm 32. The terrifying thing was I lost my mom to breast cancer when I was 36. So I had gone in for what was supposed to be a routine mammogram and they found something. And the crazy part was this was at the height of all of my TV appearances kind of taking off with the Hallmark Channel. So when you find out news like this, and I basically went through three months of different tests to be diagnosed and I couldn't tell my TV network because I was afraid that they would be so worried about me that they wouldn't want to put me on air. So I would literally be, you know, filming a pet segment for Hallmark Channel and the next day be in the hospital getting an MRI or an ultrasound. And um, it was, it was so scary, but it was wonderful because I had the dogs to get me through it and to kind of keep me busy and distracted and positive. And I'm good now. Thank goodness I had um, a lumpectomy for what was a benign tumor. And I try to use this as an experience to tell women out there that it doesn't matter how young you are, definitely make sure that you know your body, that you're getting tested. I know this isn't dog related, but Preston and I, we do support a lot of different charities, not just animal charities, but breast cancer because of my mom is a huge passion. So thank Good. you well, for your concern. We are so relieved and that is great news. Now you've had other great news and we get a lot of questions. <laughs> Everybody thinks we talk all the time. What's it like being on the Marie Osmond show? Marie is awesome. Marie is everything that you think she is. She's beautiful. She's funny. She's charming. She's down to earth. She's honestly one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in show business. Her and Betty White, I've had the pleasure of working with um, actually on the same show uh, within the last couple of months. And Marie's fabulous. She's got a new rescue dog named George. And so we've brought him on the show before. Her whole crew, the producers are great. And it's just a really fun experience. And having grown up, you know, watching somebody like Marie Osmond, um, she's a legend, you know? Absolutely. And for me to be this girl who suddenly has this incredible career working with dogs and I'm the pet expert for somebody like Marie Osmond, it's a huge honor. And I just feel so grateful for the opportunity to work with her and to have that show as a platform to help people because they give me so much time to kind of talk about different things. And Absolutely. So cool. Well, and you're really bringing a lot of awareness, a lot of great things to the show. So you certainly earned your key. You. Now, the other thing is, I understand you have something you're going to share with us, and I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I'm excited. So share it with all of us. Okay. So I have a secret. We'll have to, I'll have to <laughs> let you know if we have to cut this part of it. But as of now, as of yesterday, I can officially share that I have a development deal with a tiny production company who did a tiny show called The Dog Whisperer, oh. MPH, um, Jim Melio and Mark Huffnail, who are incredible producers, um, Excellent. We had some meetings and they are looking to do a new dog show and they've partnered with me and we're developing Good. and pitching and it's amazing to be partnered with a production company like these guys because it's so, you know, anybody in the TV world knows how hard it is to get a show on the air, so to have a partnership with a team who knows about dog programming. Although I'm completely different from Caesar, he has his passion and I have, you know, my own philosophies with dog training. I'm really grateful that this is a new opportunity to empower and educate pet parents. So I am so excited for you and it couldn't happen to a better person. Fingers crossed. So yes. 
You never know. This and is we're not cutting industry. this regardless. This but. may <laughs> this may never go anywhere, and I'll just be you know doing webisodes, which is perfectly fine. And yes. Well, and you know happens. what? The thing is, to just be asked is is it shows the level of work that you're doing. So now I've got to say, you've got a lot of things going on. What are you most passionate about right now, though, in terms of getting across to pet parents? Because there are a lot of things these days for us to talk about. Oh gosh. I mean, I could talk about nutrition or training. I think the one thing that is a huge passion for me right now is I'm finally launching my nonprofit, um, Pre the Preston's Planet Foundation. Little Preston here is almost 11. I can't believe how long he's been in my life and I've been in the pet industry now for five years. So I've always been very passionate about therapy dog work. I think, you yeah. know, long before I was on TV working with dogs, I was volunteering at hospitals and nursing homes with Preston ever since he was about three years old. So volunteering with your dog is something that means so much to me because I want dogs to be included in all aspects of our lifestyle. Right. And so if we want to give back, if we want to feel more fulfilled, what better way than to volunteer with your dog? And what I'm doing with my organization is more event-based. So a lot of groups out there, they have these very strict you know, rules about you have to volunteer so many times. I'm trying to inspire a younger generation of people to bond with their dog, train their dogs, so you can spend time making your dog a good citizen who's giving back to society. So I love that. That's just love it. you know very much in line with my philosophy of making dogs a better part of our life. And the way we do that is by training and socializing them and giving them the best well, chance for happiness. And even if you don't have your own dog, there are plenty of organizations who need help walking dogs, socializing with dogs. So I love that you're doing that. Just a great message. Now, Absolutely. if you could wave your fairy dog mother wand, because we know you're the fairy dog mother, <laughs> <laughs> what would you instill knowledge-wise into every pet parent? Oh my goodness. We try and throw a few tough ones at Oh, this is a tough one. Preston, knowledge-wise. Do you want to talk about training or? I, I Training, nutrition, whatever you're, you just, what comes to mind? I give you one okay, wand. Okay, you say nutrition. Nutrition, let's talk nutrition. I say, learn to read dog food labels. Whatever you're feeding your dog, just Turn the bag over or the can or whatever the packaging is and look at the ingredients and read every single one and just go online and Google it. And I'm not going to tell you what products are good and what aren't. I feed my dogs a homemade slow cooked diet because I want them to eat something that I would eat. I want, I want them to have the most natural, balanced, nutritious meal possible. But I just think there's been so many recalls out there and a lot of people are fooled by what they see in pet food commercials, which is unfortunate because some of the best companies out there don't have the money to advertise. And so you see a commercial with like fruits and vegetables flying through the air and they have this like really beautiful commercial and the puppies running through the fields and you feel like, oh my God, I feed my dog that. And it's, it's garbage, I'm sorry to say. You know, it's not something that you personally would want to put in your body and people need to be more aware of what certain ingredients mean. So I, I try not to like get on a pedestal and talk about it. Just educate yourself. All of the information is out there. Um, truthaboutpetfood.com, Susan Thixton, is a really great resource. Um, so is the Whole Dog Journal. Yep. So I just try to instill that. That and then always be training. Always spend time with your dog. Be consistent. You know, when you wake up in the morning, like use your dog's food as a part of your training so that you're not over treating them and make feeding time training and bonding time so i love it two tips you have so many great things we could go on for hours but we're not going that would to be boring i want to make sure people know where they can keep track of all your great advice all your appearances everything you've got going on where can they do that i am online laurenativo.com you can also find me on facebook on twitter I love Instagram, I'm a total nerd. You're gonna see pictures of dogs and the ocean, and that's about it. I <laughs> so love say it. hi to me, I love social media and I try to stay in touch with people. So if you see me on TV and there's a question, like I love to meet new friends, so. Well, thank you so much for everything you're doing in the pet world. We thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you guys for watching and give your dogs a num num and a kiss from Preston and I.